So hello guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna start this new series of binary research in which I'm gonna discuss about uh, new def new problems based on binary research and its implementations. Uh, like we can optimize the code using this binary search uh, so that uh, our code will be more uh, more fast on different test cases. So so uh, they, uh, let's start from the scratch. Uh, coming to the point, what is binary search? Like uh, in order to find an element in an array, like uh, there are basically two two methods. Uh, one of them is linear search. Like uh, in this, we will find an array. Like uh, we will find a key key element in an array, like from iterating from zero to so on, like up to n, uh, where n is the length of the array. So, um, but um, this takes a complexity of big of n, which is not that. Uh, you know, which is not that quick. So we can still reduce this complexity to uh, big O of, uh, what do you say, log n uh, using this binary search. So using this binary search method, so in order to reduce this complexity from big O of n to big O of log n. Uh, uh, this is somewhat quick, right? So uh, um, coming to the method, uh, we will take uh, one low and high variables uh, low is fixed to zero and high is fixed to uh, length of the uh, length of the array minus one. So since it's zero indexing, yeah. So uh, we will actually have a mid. Um, so basically, finding a key. Let's let's assume the key as twenty, like uh, eleven. Okay. Uh, let's assume we have to find the key eleven. So in order to find eleven, the index of the eleven, uh, we will perform a binary search here uh, so basically in this in this uh, in this code like we will divide it uh, at the middle like zero uh, consider this indexes one two three four <laughs> my bad uh, i'm not at that good at drawing indexes. so uh, uh, i have given an indexing here so uh, so we'll have the mid value as um, uh, what do you say l plus um, h minus l by two. Uh, I'll 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 let I'll I'll say you why I have taken uh, l plus h minus l by two. Uh, it is probably because integer overflow, uh, which usually happens in some some sort of compilers. So in order to remove that integer overflow, we are using l plus h minus l by two. Uh, instead of l plus h by d, like in order to in order to find the mid, it's simply it's simple to use zero plus h by two, right? But uh, I'll I'll let you know why I'm using l plus h minus l by two. So after performing this, we'll get zero plus six minus zero by two, that is three. Uh, so it will be here. Uh, so sixty-eight, twenty-eight, and now we'll compare our key element, what that is eleven with twenty-eight. If uh, what do we say? Uh, this array as a so if a of mid if a of mid is less than um, k uh, in this situation what is happening like uh, a of mid is greater than k so we have to set in this sub array not in this part okay so we will simply remove this part so we will we will reduce the search space to this area like this area this array so after that we will again perform this uh, repetitive process of finding the mid. And now, finding the mid will leads to zero plus three by two, that is uh, one actually. So, uh, in the second iteration, it will be here. Um, so, in the second iteration, uh, we get our key element that is eleven. So, this this is what we needed, right? So, if if any case like um, if key element is greater than the mid element then we have to uh, reduce the what do you say low low to we have to increase the low to uh, mid plus one if the key element is less than the mid element then we have to reduce the search space to uh, by using h is equal to mid minus one uh, if if our mid element is equal to k if 
net element equal to k then we can simply return the mid then we'll simply return the mid value that's it this is how simple uh, and here we are dividing the search space by two like we are dividing it by two and so on so ultimately we will get a complexity of login here so this is the basic uh, concept here uh, let's get into the coding part okay um, uh, um, I'm importing usual uh, libraries uh, to perform the operations. A is equal to. Um, I'll take the same array uh, here 3, 11, 15. Okay. So let's perform the binary search operation for this array. Okay, I'll simply print the output. Um, uh, um, I'll take the function name as binary search of here. Uh, so we are finding 11, right? Okay, uh, let's check for this one. I'm writing function info performing this uh, binary search k is the key value so as usual and as as i said before i'm taking an index of low uh, l less zero and h is equal to a dot length minus one um, and so uh, upon the, while taking the conditions while low is less than or equal to high um, if a of mid so okay sorry um, uh, we have to take the mid value right so uh, in mid is equal to um, l plus h minus l by 2 so um, if a of mid is equal to is equal to k then we simply uh, return the mid value else if uh, a of mid value is greater than k uh, uh, a of mid value is greater than k in the sense we have to reduce the search space like by taking h h is equal to mid minus 1 else if uh, a of mid is less than k then we have to reduce the search space by taking l is equal to mid plus 1 uh, like uh, it is smaller than k right so our mid value will be uh, i mean the our low value will be mid plus 1 that's it uh, and we will simply return minus 1 in case if it not reach i mean like it's the terminating case like if it doesn't reach any uh, it, it does not return within this while loop then it will simply return minus one which is denoting that the key element is not present in the array so also in order to perform binary search the necessary condition is uh, the array must be sorted before the array must be sorted in order in order to use binary search the array must be sorted initially so otherwise it will give some random uh, some some random uh, what do you say some random index value so let's check let's check the output I think the code is good okay so so the answer is 11 uh, it is an index 1 okay that's good um, let's check for uh, let's check for terminating like edge cases so I'll check for 3 it should give the output 0 okay and for 55 it should give the output 7 6 yeah 6 you don't want to play no? 0 index 6 so let's just take an another number which is not present here uh, like uh, some 59 it should give minus 1 yeah so I checked all these cases 
search given output so this is the logic for bi performing binary search in an array um, so now coming to this uh, mid value like using l plus h minus l by 2 uh, because of integer overflow uh, what is integer overflow actually what do you mean by integer overflow actually integer overflow uh, what do you mean by integer overflow actually this is the main point this is the main point to discuss actually all these things are a uh, secondary if you can consider but this is the main thing what we have to discuss in this binary search so let's just assume a, uh, a, a kind of a compiler which can take only values like up to 4 bits like um, so the maximum 4 bits ok 4 bit compiler wait let me clear this uh, so let's assume a 4 bit compiler um, uh, so it will take a maximum value from 0 to um, 1 what do we say uh, 2 power n minus 1 right I mean like um, 0 to 15 since it's 16 right so 0 to 15 only that is 1 1 1 1 2 power 0 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 that's it yeah 15 so um, if I want to um, like if we use l plus h by 2 instead of if we use l plus h by 2 uh, assuming that I'll take L is equal to um, some 3 and H is equal to 14 let's assume okay H is equal to 14 so uh, basically our compiler can only represent numbers from 0 to 15 only like uh, 16 will be completely unknown for it 16 will be completely unknown for it so it, it does not uh, understand what do you mean by 16 either it is an integer or not so it will simply throw you an error so in order to remove that like uh, so in order to uh, handle the such kind of situations it is not a good idea to use l plus h by 2 like if you use l plus h by 2 in this case uh, we will get 3 plus 14 by 2 uh, which is 17 by 2 actually 17 is not is unknown for the compiler like it simply throws an error it will simply throws an error cause it is a 4 bit compiler which cannot understand what do you mean by 17 so in order to uh, in order to handle such kind of situations it is good to use uh, m is equal to l plus h minus l by 2 uh, so simply the compiler can understand the same process and also performing the steps so basically uh, 3 plus um, uh, what is 14 minus 3 11 11 pi 2 so here all the integers are understandable to the compiler so it will simply so it will simply gives the value like uh, uh, gives an m value uh, rather than throwing some exception so what do you say here the value is the 5 5 plus 3 uh, that is 8 I guess 8 yeah you give a value of 8 here uh, rather than simply throwing an exception here so this is the main main concept what we have to understand here like why we are using an integer overflow like uh, why we are using uh, mid is equal to l plus h minus l by 2 so I guess I have cleared all your uh, I mean like all your uh, misconceptions or what do you say anything about this integer overflow thing so uh, this is all about this series I mean like all about this video for now so I'll I'll drop all the videos like all similar sort of problems uh, which will include this binary search uh, uh, for getting some optimal code or getting uh, some best possible solution for a given question uh, until then like uh, bye guys, until then bye, have a nice day.